In armed conflicts, the civilian casualty ratio is the ratio of civilian casualties to combatant casualties, or total casualties. The measurement can apply either to casualties inflicted by or to a particular belligerent, casualties inflicted in one aspect or arena of a conflict or to casualties in the conflict as a whole. Casualties usually refer to both dead and injured. In some calculations, deaths resulting from famine and epidemics are included. Starting in the 1980s, it was often claimed that 90% of the victims of modern wars were civilians. The claim was repeated on Wikipedia's Did You Know on December 14, 2010, and it has been repeated in academic publications as recently as 2014. These claims, though widely believed, are not supported by detailed examination of the evidence, particularly that relating to wars that are central to the claims. Some of the citations can be traced back to a 1991 monograph from Uppsala University which includes refugees and internally displaced persons as casualties. Other authors cite Ruth Ledger Sivard's 1991 monograph in which the author states a Euro OE in the decade of the 1980s, the proportion of civilian deaths jumped to 74% of the total and in 1990 it appears to have been close to 90% a euro. The most comprehensive examination of civilian war deaths throughout history is by William Eckhart, in which Eckhart states, on the average, half of the deaths caused by war happened to civilians, only some of whom were killed by famine associated with war. The civilian percentage share of war-related deaths remained at about 50% from century to century. Mexican Revolution, although it is estimated at least one million people died in the Mexican Revolution, most died from disease and hunger as an indirect result of the war. Combat deaths are generally agreed to have totaled about 250,000. According to Eckhart, these included 125,000 civilian deaths and 125,000 military deaths, creating a civilian combatant death ratio of 1 to 1 among combat deaths. World War I. Some 9 to 10 million combatants on both sides are estimated to have died during World War I, along with an estimated 6.6 .6 million civilians. The civilian casualty ratio in World War I is therefore approximately 2 3 or 40 percent. Most of the civilian fatalities were due to famine or Spanish flu rather than military action. The relatively low ratio of civilian casualties in this war is due to the fact that the front lines on the main battlefront, the Western Front, were static for most of the war, so that civilians were able to avoid the combat zones. Chemical weapons were widely used by all sides during the conflict and wind frequently carried poison gas into nearby towns where civilians did not have access to gas masks or warning systems. An estimated 100,000 to 260,000 civilian casualties were affected by the use of chemical weapons during the conflict and tens of thousands of more died from the effects of such weapons in the years after the conflict ended. Germany suffered 750,000 civilian dead during and after the war due to famine caused by the Allied blockade. Russia and Turkey suffered civilian casualties in the millions in the Russian Civil War and invasion of Anatolia respectively. World War II. According to most sources, World War II was the most lethal war in world history, with some 70 million killed in six years. The civilian to combatant fatality ratio in World War II lies somewhere between 3-2 and 2-1, or from 60% to 67%. The high ratio of civilian casualties in this war was due in part to the increasing effectiveness and lethality of strategic weapons which were used to target enemy industrial or population centers, and famines caused by economic disruption. A substantial number of civilians in this war were also deliberately killed by Axis powers as a result of racial policies or ethnic cleansing campaigns. Korean War The median total estimated Korean civilian deaths in the Korean War is 2,730,000. The total estimated North Korea military deaths is 215,000 and the estimated Chinese military deaths is over 400,000. In addition to this the Republic of Korea military deaths is around 138,000 dead and the military deaths for the United Nations side is around 40,000. The estimated Korean War military dead is around 793,000 deaths. The civilian combatant death ratio in the war is approximately 2-1 or 67%.
one source estimates that 20% of the total population of North Korea perished in the war. Vietnam War The Vietnamese government has estimated the number of Vietnamese civilians killed in the Vietnam War at 2 million, and the number of NVA and Viet Cong killed at 1.1 million a euro estimates which approximate those of a number of other sources. This would give a civilian combatant fatality ratio of approximately 2-1, or 67%. These figures do not include civilians killed in Cambodia and Laos. However, the lowest estimate of 411,000 civilians killed during the war would give a civilian combatant fatality ratio of approximately 1-3 or 37 percent. Using the lowest estimate of Vietnamese military deaths, 400,000, the ratio is about 1-1. Chechen Wars During the First Chechen War, 4,000 separatist fighters and 40,000 civilians are estimated to have died, giving a civilian combatant ratio of 10 to 1. The numbers for the Second Chechen War are 3,000 fighters and 13,000 civilians, for a ratio of 43 to 10. The combined ratio for both wars is 76-10. Casualty numbers for the conflict are notoriously unreliable. The estimates of the civilian casualties during the First Chechen War range from 20,000 to 100,000, with remaining numbers being similarly unreliable. The tactics employed by Russian forces in both wars were heavily criticized by human rights groups, which accused them of indiscriminate bombing and shelling of civilian areas and other crimes. NATO and Yugoslavia. In 1999, NATO intervened in the Kosovo War with a bombing campaign against Yugoslav forces, who were alleged to be conducting a campaign of ethnic cleansing. The bombing lasted about two or one half months, until forcing the withdrawal of the Yugoslav army from Kosovo. Estimates for the number of casualties caused by the bombing vary widely depending on the source. NATO unofficially claimed a toll of 5,000 enemy combatants killed by the bombardment. The Yugoslav government, on the other hand, gave a figure of 638 of his security forces killed in Kosovo. Estimates for the civilian toll are similarly disparate. Human Rights Watch counted approximately 500 civilians killed by the bombing. The Yugoslav government estimated between 1,200 and 5,000. If the NATO figures are to be believed, the bombings achieved a civilian to combatant kill ratio of about 110. On the Yugoslav government's figures, conversely, the ratio would be between 4-1 and 10-1. If the most conservative estimates from the sources cited above are used, the ratio was around 1-1. According to military historian and Israeli ambassador to the United States Michael Oren, for every Serbian soldier killed by NATO in 1999, Four civilians died, a civilian to combatant casualty ratio of 4 to 1. Oren cites this figure as evidence that even the most moral army can make mistakes, especially in dense urban warfare. Iraq War According to a 2010 assessment by John Sloboda of Iraq Body Count, a United Kingdom based organization, American and coalition forces had killed at least 28,736 combatants as well as 13,807 civilians in the Iraq War, indicating a civilian to combatant casualty ratio inflicted by coalition forces of 1 2. However, overall, figures by the Iraq body count from March 20, 2003 to March 14, 2013 indicate that of 174,000 casualties, only 39,900 were combatants resulting in a civilian casualty rate of 77%. U.S. Drone Strikes in Pakistan The civilian casualty ratio for U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan is notoriously difficult to quantify. The U.S. itself puts the number of civilians killed from drone strikes in the last two years at no more than 20 to 30, a total that is far too low according to a spokesman for the NGO Civic. At the other extreme, Daniel Elberman of the Brookings Institution suggests that drone strikes may kill 10 or so civilians for every militant killed, which would represent a civilian to combatant casualty ratio of 10 to 1. Berman argues that civilian killings constitute a humanitarian tragedy and create dangerous political problems, including damage to the legitimacy of the Pakistani government and alienation of the Pakistani populace from America. An ongoing study by the New America Foundation finds non-militant casualty rates started high but have declined steeply over time, 
from about 60% in 2004 to 2007 to less than 2% 2 in 2012. The study puts the overall non-militant casualty rate since 2004 at 15 to 16 percent, or a 1 to 5 ratio, out of a total of between 1,908 and 3,225 people killed in Pakistan by drone strikes since 2004. Research published by Reprieve in 2014 suggested that U.S. drone strikes in Yemen and Pakistan have had an unknown person-to-target casualty ratio of 28 to 1 with one attack in the study having a ratio of 128 to 1 with 13 children being killed. Israeli Euro-Palestinian conflict, the head of the Shin Bet reported to the Israeli cabinet that of the 810 Palestinians killed in Gaza in 2006 and 2007, 200 were civilians. Alaritz assessed this to be an underestimation of civilian casualties. Using Ptselem's figures they calculated that 816 Palestinians had been killed in Gaza during the two-year period, 360 of whom were civilians. 1,010 Israelis were killed between September 29, 2000 and January 1, 2005. Of these, 773 were civilians killed in Palestinian attacks resulting in a ratio of approximately 5-1. According to official statistics from the Ministry of Information in Ramallah, 1,518 Palestinian children were killed by Israeli military forces from the start of the Second Intifada in September 2000 and April 2013. Equals Israeli airstrikes on the Gaza Strip equals, military journalist Amos Harrell wrote in Alaritz that the ratio between killed terrorists and civilians was 1-1 in 2002 to 2003, when half the casualties in air assaults on the Gaza Strip were innocent bystander. He attributed this to an Israeli Air Force practice of attacking militants even when they had deliberately located themselves in densely populated areas. The ratio improved to 1 to 28 ratio in late 2005, meaning one civilian killed for every 28 militants. It lowered, however, to 110 in 2006. In 2007, the ratio was at its lowest ever, more than 130. Figures showing an improvement from 11 in 2002 to 130 in 2008 were also cited by Jerusalem Post journalist Yaakov Katz. According to B'Tselem, Israel counts the Hamas police force as a non-civilian when calculating the civilian casualty ratio, and states that such a definition is not compatible with the ICRC interpretation of international law. The International Committee of the Red Cross regards persons as civilians if they do not fulfill a continuous combat function, and do not participate directly in hostilities. Israel states that members of the Hamas police force participate in rocket attacks making them legitimate targets. Analysts state that in addition to their civilian roles such as policing traffic, Hamas police are active in counterintelligence and fighting dissent. Professor Alan Dershowitz stated that the 2008 figure of 130 represents the lowest civilian to combatant casualty ratio in history in the setting of combating terrorism. He argued that even this figure may be misleading because not all civilians are innocent bystanders. In October 2009, Dershowitz stated that the ratio for Israel's campaign of targeted assassinations stood at one civilian for every 28 terrorists. He asserted that this is the best ratio of any country in the world that is fighting asymmetrical warfare against terrorists who hide behind civilians. On its web blog, the IDF stated that the id for Euro unregistered trademark s civilian to terrorist death ratio is the lowest in the world. Civilian deaths to Gazan militant groups, such as Hamas, it says use human shields. There are reports that Israel also used Palestinian civilian as human shields during the first and second intifadas, and on at least 14 UN documented occasions between January 2010 and March 2013 alone with pictures showing Palestinian miners tied up to the hoods of Israeli military vehicles or in other dangerous situations to prevent any attacks against them. The IDF blog lists various counter-terrorism methods used by the IDF to minimize civilian casualties and lower the civilian casualty ratio, and includes videos related to each method, pinpoint targeting, singling out terrorists for an airstrike in a way that will not harm civilian bystanders aborting strikes due to risk of civilians being injured or killed. Advanced technology, the IDF has heavily invested in smart bombs, 
and has developed special missiles, such as the F-16 Isufa and the Delilah missile, which has the ability to cancel a strike while in the air. Equals Israel in the 2008 Euro 09 Gaza war equals. Several analysts have attempted to calculate the Israel Defense Forces' civilian casualty ratio in the 2008 Euro 09 Gaza war. All have noted that the ratio differs significantly depending on which figures are used regarding the total number of casualties and their identity. The main sets of figures are those published by the IDF, essentially corroborated by Hamas, the opposing belligerent in the conflict, on the one hand, and those published by Psalm on the other hand. The final IDF report identified 709 militants out of a total of 1,161 Gaza fatalities, with another 162 whose status could not be confirmed. Salem say 1,391 Palestinians were killed, of whom 759 of them did not take part in the hostilities while 350 did take part in the hostilities, 248 were police officers who were killed inside police stations, and it is not known if 32 who were killed did take part in the hostilities. Journalist Yaakov Katz states in the Jerusalem Post that the ratio is 1 to 3 according to the Israeli figures and 60% civilians according to Psalm's figures. Katz attributes the IDF's low ratio in the Gaza war and in the year preceding it to Israel's investment in special weapons systems, including small smart bombs that minimize collateral damage and to an upscaled Israeli effort to warn civilians to flee areas and to divert missiles at the last moment if civilians entered a planned strike zone. Katz says that over 81% of the 5,000 missiles the IDF dropped in the Gaza Strip during the operation were smart bombs, a percentage which he states is unprecedented in modern warfare. Journalist and commentator Evelyn Gordon writes in commentary that the civilian casualty ratio in the 2008 Euro 09 Gaza war was 39%, using however only the preliminary Israeli estimates, but that 56 or 74% were civilians according to Tselem's figures, depending on whether 248 Hamas policemen are considered combatants or civilians and 65 or 83 percent according to the figures of the Palestinian Center for Human Rights. Gordon says that all of these ratios, even if the worst were correct, are lower than the normal civilian to combatant wartime fatality ratio in wars elsewhere, as given by the Red Cross, and states that the comparison shows that the IDF was unusually successful at minimizing civilian casualties. She concludes by charging that terrorists fight from among civilians because they know that the inevitable civilian casualties will result in opprobrium for their victims who dare to fight back, and that this norm will not change as long as this modus operandi remains profitable. Colonel Richard Kemp, former commander of British forces in Afghanistan and adamant supporter of the IDF, spoke in 2011 about Israeli operations in the Gaza war. He said that a study published by the United Nations showed that the ratio of civilian to combatant deaths in Gaza was by far the lowest in any asymmetric conflict in the history of warfare. He stated that this ratio was less than 1-1, and compared it favorably to the estimated ratios in NATO operations in Afghanistan, Western campaigns in Iraq and Kosovo, and the conflicts in Chechnya and Serbia. Kemp argued that the low ratio was achieved through unprecedented measures by the IDF to minimize civilian casualties, which included providing warnings to the population via telephone calls, radio broadcasts and leaflets, as well as granting pilots the discretion to abort a strike if they perceived too great a risk of civilian casualties. He also stated that the civilian casualties that did occur could be seen in light of what he said was Hamas tactical use of Gaza and civilians as human shields to hide behind, to stand between Israeli forces and their own fighters, and strategic use of them for exploitation of their deaths in the media. 1982 Lebanon War In 1982, Israel invaded Lebanon with the stated aim of driving the PLO away from its northern borders. The war culminated in a seven-week-long Israeli naval, air and artillery bombardment of Lebanon's capital, Beirut, where the PLO had retreated. The bombardment eventually came to an end with an internationally brokered settlement in which the PLO forces were given safe passage to evacuate the country. According to the International Red Cross, by the end of the first week of the war alone, some 10,000 people, including 2,000 combatants, had been killed, 
and 16,000 wounded al Euro a civilian combatant fatality ratio of 5 to 1. Lebanese government sources later estimated that by the end of the siege of Beirut, a total of about 18,000 had been killed, an estimated 85% of whom were civilians. This gives a civilian to military casualty ratio of about 6 1. According to Richard A. Gabriel, between 1,000 and 3,000 civilians were killed in the southern campaign. He states that an additional 4,000 to 5,000 civilians died from all actions of all sides during the siege of Beirut, and that some 2,000 Syrian soldiers were killed during the Lebanon campaign and a further 2,400 PLO guerrillas were also killed. Of these, 1,000 PLO guerrillas were killed during the siege. According to Gabriel the ratio of civilian deaths to combatants during the siege was about 6 to 1 but this ratio includes civilian deaths from all actions of all sides. See also, collateral damage, asymmetric warfare, fourth generation warfare, loss exchange ratio, just war, distinction, proportionality, military necessity. Notes. References. Further reading, Duma, Samuel. Bedell Peterson, K.O. Chapter 7, The Mortality of the Civilian Population. In Westergaard, Harold. Losses of Life Caused by War. Oxford, Clarendon Press.